1964, Jim Brown led the Cleveland Browns to the NFL championship title. Brown is considered one of the greatest football players who ever lived. Jim Brown is also a legend in lacrosse. At Syracuse University, he dominated in football, basketball, track, and lacrosse. Brown is in both the NFL and lacrosse halls of fame. And to highlight some of the other lacrosse players who are playing in the NFL right now, got to look at uh, former Maryland and Notre Dame attackman Will Yateman playing offensive tackle for the Dolphins, uh, starting running back for the Washington Redskins, Evan Royster. Um, I mean, football is probably more of a cross than, than lifting weights, uh, the running, and, and vice versa. You know, the lacrosse tell me so much of football, my footwork, and my vision. And linebacker Mark Hurlich, who actually got a scholarship to play at Johns Hopkins, but opted to play football at BC. Chris Hogan, this guy is everywhere right now. He brought his lacrosse stick to the Super Bowl. I know, that was so rad. It was rad. That was cool. I think I still remember how to use this. Super cool to see a guy not only just getting publicity because he's an incredible football player, but also because he's a lacrosse player. And here he is talking about how lacrosse helped his football game. Lacrosse is such a space game, and being able to see what's in front of you being able to, you know, find the weak spots in a defense can surely, you know, transfer over to football. You know, there's a ton of carryover. I've made that transition. I think I'm the football player that used to play lacrosse. Lacrosse players in the NFL. Over the weekend, I read an article in ESPN about Travis Swanson, an O-lineman for the Detroit Lions. He grew up in Houston playing lacrosse. Swanson says, really, if you look at it, it's a lot like pass protection in football. You have to mirror your guy, keep him in front of you, move your feet. Now I just don't have a six foot titanium pole. And none other than the hoodie himself, Bill Belichick. I think I know a little bit about competition. I think I know a little bit about leadership. And I think I know a little bit about football. Bill Belichick, the greatest coach of all time. Bill, as a boy growing up in Annapolis, what ultimately drew you to the game of lacrosse? Uh, you know, I loved it. Navy had great teams. and. Uh, seemed like half the team was made up of uh, Navy football players, so they would play lacrosse and, uh, instead of going out for spring ball. If you were coaching a lacrosse team and Gronk came to tryouts, what position would you put him at first? If I could teach him any stick work, I'd put him at crease attack. Let him go out and then you know, clear out and just let him, you know, let him go to the goal. Because there were so many football players on the team, I started following it. And uh, Coach Bilderbach had uh, national championship after national championship throughout the 60s. Edelman? Yeah, be a good midfielder. Yeah. Good midfielder. Now, I really like to watch the off ball on the offensive end. Um, you know, there's so much going on in front of the, the crease. There's a lot of activity there. You know, I love the, the face-offs, kind of the, the loose balls. Um, you know, the extra man strategy uh, offensively and defensively, you know, the slides and how quickly that's done. Uh, it's, it's pretty fascinating to me. If you ask me, it depends on what day it is, uh, but lacrosse would either be my favorite or second favorite sport, uh, depending on, on the time of year. I know you're a big fan of lacrosse. Your son Patrick plays at Culver uh, in Indiana. It's the fastest growing team sport nationally, and some of these non-traditional lacrosse places where football is king, there may be some resistance in terms of football coaches promoting lacrosse what would your message be to those coaches well you know i think first of all you know anytime that you can get kids that can play multiple sports in high school i think you're coming out ahead um to go out and be able to compete in itself i think is a plus for any kid at that age that's number one regardless of the sport but for me um the similarities of lacrosse and football uh the ability to have some contact and and not pick up a flag. Um, <laughs> the ability to run and, and use your feet um, and play a game that allows you to have some of the strategies, um, there isn't a better fit than the cross. The deeper you get into it, the more fascinating it becomes. That's domination. He's a machine. It was a serious matter in that culture. Instead of going to war, they play a lacrosse game and the winner would be the winner of that particular war. He played it just because of the love of the sport. He scored. There's nothing like it. <laughs>